So we're here with Rick Forschler. Tell me, Rick, why do you call this a fake strike? Why is it a phony strike on fast food? Uh, because it was largely uh, union members, not uh, fast food workers who were striking. They were really holding a protest that, um, uh, that closed down uh, businesses, but uh, it wasn't the people walking out for the most part. In fact, there was one um, uh, website that shows 16 out of 17 people were not even fast food workers. In fact, they were, uh, there was only one and he wasn't even uh, a worker at uh, the restaurant where they were striking. Interesting. So why would the, who, who is striking then, if, the, if not the fast food worker? So I'll call it a protest rather than a strike. And what they were doing was they were trying to, it's a PR campaign more than anything, trying to get people to think that $15 an hour is a reasonable minimum wage. But that's more than double the national minimum wage already. Uh, Washington State has the highest minimum wage at $9.19. Uh, so it's 63% higher than that if we go to $15 an hour. And who's pushing for this? Uh, well, in, in Washington State, it's Working Washington, and, uh, which is a, an organizing uh, leg of SEIU. But nationwide, it's SEIU members largely that are pushing this. And why do they care? Uh, it, you, a lot of union contracts are tied to the minimum wage. So if the minimum wage goes up, their contract goes up. But they're, more than that, I think that what they're trying to do is um, gather more union members. They're, if, if they can unionize the fast food workers, then they, they build the ranks of dues-paying members for unions and, and start making unions relevant again in their eyes. And, and what is it that, why would you care about that in particular? Are you a fast food worker or are you an owner of a fast food restaurant? No, no, in fact, uh, I'm on the city council in SeaTac and uh, they're currently running a campaign, uh, they're calling it the Good Jobs Initiative, but it's really a job killer in SeaTac. And what, they'll, what they're doing is they're pushing for a $15 hour minimum wage, and uh, on top of that, a lot of other egregious measures that they would impose on businesses that the city would be required to do. So it'd be a taxpayer expense uh, that we would impose all these measures on the businesses, which would uh, drive many of them out. And so uh, the, uh, when you read through the initiative, you find out that there's a waiver built in, which means that if the, um, uh, if the business can't stay in business because of all of these uh, uh, regulations that have been heaped on them, well then they can unionize their worker, workers and it waives all the provisions of it. So now that they can, uh, they can stay in business with unionized workers. So you see it's a push for unionization. It's not really uh, a, a push for, um, better wages or sick leave benefits. They're really just trying to unionize people. I see, and what, what are, are you doing about it on your end? What would you like to see done? Well, there's a number of things, but one was, you saw this. This was a, this was a flyer we sent out on uh, August 29th that was, it said uh, that we uh, help honoring entry level positions. And uh, what we're trying to do is make it uh, clear that entry-level positions are valuable. And we sent this, this went out to tens of thousands of people. We're not sure how many, uh, but it was, uh, 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 it was circulated in the Puget Sound area, a number of cities here. We know it was handed out in Chicago. And uh, we think Detroit and New York, we're trying to verify that. But we believe we had some impact at taking the teeth out of this uh, supposed strike that they had at fast food restaurants. Excellent. And tell us again your name. Uh, Rick Forschler. I'm on the SeaTac City Council. And uh, it's, it's because of the um, initiative that they're running in SeaTac that I decided to get involved and, and try to oppose this thing, not only here, but at the national level. Great. Thanks for your time, Rick.